So the instrument safety factor is applicable for metering and the accuracy limit factor is applicable for protection. The accuracy limit factor is applicable for protection. So what is this instrument security factor? What is accuracy limit factor? Now the concept of saturation is coming. So what is the saturation in the seat? What, what is the meaning? Uh, saturation uh, in the CD. Let's see this. <clears throat> Generally, uh, if you uh, check the current character, current transformer magnetizing characteristics, I mean the BH curve. A current transformer uh, with a given core dimension can only support a given amount of flux density in the core. It will support only some flux density in the core. As long as the flux density remains below what the maximum flux density is, I mean a change in flux, will create a, a current flow in the secondary side. Once, when a primary current is high, is totally high, reached uh, more than the a certain limit, then the core, the core of the CT cannot handle any more flux, cannot handle any more flux than the CT is said to be in a saturation. When it enters into the saturation, there is a no flux change when primary current changes. Because the core is already carrying a maximum flux. Since there is a no change in flux, there is a no change in secondary current flow. I mean, there is a no current secondary current flow. So, in a simple way, in saturation, all the ratio, all the current is used as a magnetizing current only and none of the current is flowing on the CT secondary. No load, uh, no flow in the load connected to the CT. Understood team? What is the general reasons of the saturation? One is the cross-sectional of the CT core, the CT core. Larger the cross-section, lesser the chances of saturation. And other one is type of the steel or quality used to, the, um, to manufacture that core, like CRGO, some kind of material. That is the uh, other case. And one more case is the burden also. Burden is also a main thing. Uh, external load which is applying to the CT secondary uh, is also a one of the parameter which uh, is which will uh, uh, shows uh, which will uh, creates this uh, chances of uh, saturation. Is my screen freezed? So I am not explaining anything. I am just. Uh, uh, verbally, I am telling. I am not showing anything. Team, are you able to see a Excel sheet, right? Yeah, fine. That's that's only that is only. fine. So, what is happening in a primary current? When a primary current is high, the CT is entering into the saturation. And it will not give a relative uh, kind of uh, what we will call uh, current on the secondary side of this one. Secondary side of this one. So, generally in the meterings, what is the metering purpose? Metering is to measure the good quality of current. I mean, not a fault current, a normal current. 
So metering is action is only limited to 400 amps only. That is a maximum current that's seeing by that meter. Or maybe due to the some disturbances, we can extend it something. That's it. But come to this protection one, the protection. The fall, the it's up, you are grading the relays. The CT should not enter into the saturation up to the max up to some fault current that can be that is the maximum fault current uh, at that particular location. Two things. One is in the metering, the CT should enter into the saturation to, uh, to save the electronic equipment or meters or what which are connected to at the secondary side. Come to the protection that CT should not enter into the saturation up to some level of fault current because if, if, it, if it enters into the saturation, we fail in the grading of relays. So instrument safety factor is given for the metering accuracy limit factor is for the protection. So how to this? So generally it's a uh, guidelines uh, as per uh, IEC 6004 for the CTs, the instrument security safety factor for metering should be less than or equal to five. This is the condition. D. What it seems is the ISF should be less than or equal to five. What is the ISF is? Rated primary current, sorry, rated primary, prime, sorry, primary side fault current to the rated primary current. What is a fault current? So in a reverse, if I'm taking the five as an example, the fault current, the fault current is equal to 400 into five. So up to 2000 amps flowing in the primary of the CT, the metering CT with this condition will not enter into the saturation. Beyond 2000, 2000 amps, the CT might be entered into the saturation. That is the case here for the metering. Come to the protection. Here, the accuracy limit factor is the, up, uh, is the important one. Here, how we will calculate the ALF is, we are having a 33 kV feeder and we are creating a fault here and we will check the what is the maximum fault here. Suppose the maximum fault is 4000 uh, some change 4000 amps this is the fault uh, recording that is using this is the fault i am uh, getting here that is using for my grading of all the relays so the up to 4000 amps the relay should not enter into the saturation so what is the alf then for 4000 divided by sorry 4000 divided by what is the primary current of primary current of the CT? So rated current of CT 400 amps. So 10. 10 is the ALF here. ALF is should be 10 in our case. ALF should be 10. It seems that if I am selecting a CT with a 10 ALF, up to 4000 amps, the CT should not enter into the saturation. Beyond 4000, my CT will might enter into the saturation. Why I am using the may, might? Because this ALF and this ISF is again depends upon the burden you connected uh, to the CT. That is the one more uh, third point when I am stating before. The burden is also very important thing, which will also make the CT into enters into the saturation. 